What's up, guys? How you doing this afternoon? This is Captain E3E <clears throat> with another aircraft review. Sorry, <clears throat> sorry, I made a little mistake before, but Midge HD has has reviewed this aircraft. So did Citrus Aviation had reviewed this aircraft, but I'm gonna review it right now. Courtesy of Skymarks, Boeing 757-324 and the 1-500 scale by Skymarks. United Airlines is the largest airliner due to destinations. Their, their origins began in 1925 in Washington State, where Boeing had formed Boeing Air Transport, which later became United Airlines. Today, United is employee-owned, and in 2010, they acquired Continental Airlines. And <clears throat> this fine-looking bird I flew on for the last time before Continental and United was to merge. Now I'm going to give you a, a tour of the aircraft. The PO tubes and stack ports. The cockpit windshield and windshield wipers. Come on. <clears throat> excuse me. Come on. The L1 door. The Star Alliance livery. United is a member of Star Alliance. The L1 door right there. The United tiles. And two Rolls Royce turbofan engines. Come on. The wings of the 757. And, <clears throat> and the registration of this aircraft. November 676UA, or November 678 Uniform Alpha. United is a flag carrier of the United States. Now, the APU and the Horizontal stabilizers on the 757-300. The Continental livery, which looks stunning. And come on, the aircraft. The United Tiles, the first galley on board the 757-324, there are, <clears throat> there are at least about three galleys on this aircraft that could serve around by, well, about 2,000 meals a day. You can see it very nicely. This is my second 757 from from United Airlines. The other is in the, the Tulip livery. <clears throat> this was before the merger with Continental. Now, the 757-300ER is... My first 757 from United, and <clears throat> there are hubs that includes San Francisco International Airport, Los Angeles International, Denver International, Houston, George H. Bush Intercontinental, Chicago O'Hare, Newark Liberty International Airport, and Guam. They have numerous destinations worldwide. 
<clears throat> this aircraft right here could fly from Newark to Manchester Railway International Airport in the UK. <clears throat> and often this aircraft has been used on flights from Newark to Lisbon, uh, Madrid, and Barcelona, Spain. I'll give you uh, some looks at the aircraft. Looking very, very stunning. <clears throat> uh, United, Northwest Airlines, and Condor were the only three customers for the 757-300. I got this aircraft from the airplane shop back in 2014. And I just love it. The the last time I were flown on the 757 <clears throat> was on a flight from Newark, New Jersey to Orlando McCoy Field. And that was in 2010. And that was my last flight with Continental before Continental was to merge with United. Now, I would like to say to the employees, past and present, of both United and Continental, <clears throat> you did a wonderful job. To, to the pilots and to the flight attendants, thank you very much. And this is a shout out that's going out to all you guys that works at United Airlines. So, on the behalf of myself, <coughs> I, <coughs> excuse me, I just would like to say thank you very much for watching this video. And if you like my other videos, check my other videos out. <coughs> on YouTube. And like always, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, this is Captain E3E, signing off for now.